We're at lesson 3.3a. This is subtracting positive rational numbers. We're going to be using number lines. We've learned that on a horizontal number line, the positive direction is to the right, the negative direction is to the left. On a vertical li number line, the positive is up, the negative is down. We can use subtraction of a positive number to represent a decrease. To subtract a positive rational number on a number line, we start at a point for the first number. So our first number is 2 and 5 tenths. So that's going to be in between 2 and 3, right in the middle here. We draw our point. We draw an arrow moving in this direction to the left for the second number. We're showing, we're subtracting 3 and 25 hundredths. We're going to land at negative 75 hundredths. We know that 2 and 5 tenths minus 3 and 25 hundredths is negative 75 hundredths. So remember from grade school, the first number in subtraction is the minuend. We're taking away the subtrahen, and of course the answer is the difference. Adding a negative is the same as subtracting a positive. If we have 3 plus a negative 5, it's going to equal a negative 2. We start at the positive 3. We're going to add a negative 5, so we move to the left to add the negative, and we land at negative 2. If we have a positive 3 and we're subtracting a positive 5, we move from a point at 3 left. 5 units. So remember, to subtract integers, we can add the opposite as 3 plus a negative 5. We'll discuss this more in video 3.3c, which is coming up in a couple of lessons. So here's our first example. On Friday, the temperature was 5 and 5 tenths degrees Celsius. On Saturday, the temperature was 8 and 25 hundredths degrees less than Friday. What was the temperature on Saturday? So it gave us that on Friday it was 5.5 degrees Celsius, and on Saturday it was 8.25 degrees less. We need to find what 8.25 less than 5.5 is. So our equation is 5.5 minus 8.25. We draw a point at 5.5 that's going to be in between 5 and 6 for 5.5, and we're subtracting a positive number, so we draw an arrow to the left. The absolute value of 8 and 25 hundredths is 8 and 25 hundredths units long. And we can actually go from our starting point here, 25 hundredths or 1 fourth, that would be one little increment, and then take away 8. So we're going to go 8 units to the left and each whole unit is going to land us right before the next increment. See that to be one whole? So we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That's going to put us right before this negative 3 at negative 2 and 75 hundredths. The result is negative 2.75. So the temperature on Saturday was negative 2 and 75 hundredths degrees Celsius. We were using Celsius, not Fahrenheit, so we have to make sure our answer is in Celsius. Here it's telling us to use a number line to find the difference. We have a negative 7.5 minus 4. That's a negative 7 and 5 tenths minus 4. We draw a point at negative 7.5 or negative 7.5, and, and because negative 7 and 5 tenths is between negative 7 and negative 8, our point is going to be right here between the negative 7 and negative 8. We're subtracting, so we draw an arrow moving left 4 units. The absolute value of 4 is 4. That's going to land us in between negative 11 and negative 12, so our difference is negative 11 and 5 tenths. Here we have a positive 3.5 and, and we're subtracting 6. That's a positive 6. 
So we're going to draw a point at 3 and a half that's going to be in between the 3 and the 4. And because we're subtracting, we draw an arrow moving left, the absolute value of 6, which is 6 units long. And it's going to put us in between negative 2 and negative 3. So we know it is equal to negative 2 and a half. So remember, the absolute value of a number is its distance from zero on a number line. So if we move six, the absolute value of six, it's going to be six units. So here we have a little common sense. When the minuend has a lesser value than the subtrahend, the difference will be a negative number. And when the minuend has a greater value than the subtrahend, the difference will be a positive number. We can draw our number line to fit the equation. We have a two and a half here, and because we see a half, we can have increments as whole numbers and put a dot in between the two and three to show two and a half, or we can actually make increments of halves to do this. If we see 2.25, 2 0.25, that's 25 hundredths, that's a fourth, we can have increments of fourths on our number line. And remember, the commutative property does not work for subtraction. We need to make sure the minuend and subtrahend are in their correct order. The first number is the minuend. The next number is the subtrahend. 7 minus 3 is equal to 4. That's not equal to 3 minus 7. We cannot flip these around for subtraction. Commutative property does not work. We're finished with part A. We're going to move on to part B, subtracting negative rational numbers. May you have a wonderful day, and please join me for the next part of the lesson. Bye.